Nancy, thanks for joining us today. You're the executive director of Halton Food for Thought. Why don't we start off by just explaining what Halton Food for Thought is and what they do for our region. Awesome, happy to do so. And thank you for having me on, Nikki. Um, so yes, uh, Halton Food for Thought is the sole provider of student nutrition programs across the Halton region. So we partner with uh, just over 130 schools across Oakville, Burlington, Milton, and Halton Hills, both elementary and secondary schools, to ensure that the students in those schools have access to the healthy food they need to support their school day. So, you know, we, we've all heard the term hangry. We know it's a real thing, and we know that students, for a variety of reasons, uh, are at school needing a little bit of additional nourishment. So our universal access programs mean that anybody, regardless of the reason, regardless of the time of the day, when they're at school, they've got access to that nutrition that they need just to keep them focused on their studies. Awesome. And we know that a fed brain is a much healthier brain. And that definitely lets us get a better education. Um, now, like so many great groups around the region, of course, the pandemic has, has hit your fundraising. Now, you've got a very cool fundraiser mm -hmm. coming up. Tell me about that. Well, we think it's cool. We think it's a little bit of a twist or a flip, you might say. Um, so we are, we've reimagined our annual breakfast bash that you alluded to that typically was a sit down in person um, event and we have kind of turned it on its head and we're offering the breakfast for dinner initiative. It's a virtual event with each, uh, we call it a dinner reservation or table reservation. Um, the attendee will receive a breakfast box that has all the, con the contents in it to prepare their own healthy and yummy uh, breakfast for dinner, who doesn't love breakfast for dinner, um, and then join the virtual event that is live on Thursday, the 26th, it's at 6.30 p.m. So they tune in, uh, we've got Rick Campanelli as a host for the event, uh, we're going to have some fun with that, and we've got a live auction, or an auction that's uh, part of the event, and uh, just the opportunity for folks to learn a little bit more about ourselves, hear some stories of inspiration from our schools, and get involved in a different way. And I saw on your website that you not only can purchase one for yourself, but you could purchase one for another family. Can I just send one to my neighbor or will you help me find somebody that perhaps is dealing with food insecurity to, to share with? Absolutely. So what we're doing with that, you have three options when you go on to the link and you want to access or reserve your spot. You can reserve it for yourself or a group of yours. So, um, you know, your family or you know, an extended relative family, you can buy one, you can buy five and you can designate who they go to in that manner. Uh, it can be pickup or delivery. And then you can donate if you're not able to attend. But the other one that's interesting and you're alerting to is the flip it for is what we're calling it. So you can choose to purchase a box or multiple boxes. And our Holden Food for Thought team is working with our partner schools across the region to ensure that those boxes go to deserving student families. So Nancy, if I wanna buy a ticket and have that breakfast for dinner, how do I participate? Absolutely, you just wanna to go to our website, www.haltonfoodforthought.com. Go to the breakfast for dinner page and right there is a link directly to purchase your tickets or to flip it forward or to donate. Uh, anyone who wants to pick up can receive a special surprise in their box as well. Awesome. Hoping to see everybody at the event. 